Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over kind of a new approach for how I'm dealing with my different genres and specifically leveraging some of the playlists that I went over in the very first episode of Advanced Apple Music for different genres that I've built. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking what used to be a section that I had created down here called genres and I'm kind of going through an easier way of of creating these and editing these. So if I go into my old section here, open up this, this is my alternative and indie section. These are all based off of a specific backbone playlist that I've built where I just collect a certain number of different genres and put them all into one giant super massive playlist that ends up for this genre being something like eight or 9,000 songs. So if we take a look at what this looks like in here, you can see that I've got some rules set up um, with the backbone being playlist is found sounds alternative. Um, and this is just my most recent 50 songs. So I've got that one set up and then each single one I have kind of another way to slice and dice that playlist. But in each one I have to put in playlist is found sounds alternative right there. And then the difficult part about doing this is that that's also true for my other one. So on this one, I have kind of the same deal, but on the rules set up here, instead of the alternative, I've got reggae in there. Now this worked pretty well. Problem is if I want to make changes to one of these, in order to make changes to all of them, it's a real pain because I have to go into each single one and find the specific rules and change things. So that's been a little bit of something that hasn't worked out super well for me but I've got a new way to do this. And that way is by displaying playlists as a home screen instead of um, just as playlists. So this is one of my kind of test run sections. So it's down here all the way at the bottom. And what I've done is I've set up a section here of just playlists that show a description of genre. And then I've also changed playlist type is smart because I think it pulled in one Apple Music playlist that has genre in there. So in all of these, I've edited the description to contain the word genre, and they're the only ones that have that. And then I filtered it down to just smart playlists. And so if you take a look, these are all my different genre playlists. At a glance, one thing I like about it too is that it's got the album or the playlist artwork right there on the front. So if we go into my alternative one, it looks very similar to what we just saw before. Now the way that you would do this is, um, let's pick a random one. Let's do um, like punk rock here. So the way that you're going to get this set up is by clicking on the, um, I'm sorry, you're going to click on the settings right there. And then up here, you're going to do view as home. And it's going to get this just kind of a basic um, setup for you with just songs, albums, and artists. And then from here, what you're able to do is go into each one and customize it. You can also add sections that are different um, things that you can slice and dice. So we'll go into, I've started doing some work on my alternative one here. And again, it looks very similar to my other one. And what I've got here is last 50 loved. So my smart rules are just date added descending songs that I love and then um, sort it by or limit it to 50 items. I've added my recent albums here and that's kind of the same setup right there. Um, I've got shuffled albums. So this is kind of similar to my favorite section of all time where I shuffle my entire library, except that this would just be alternative and indie type albums right there. And then I haven't done much work on here, but I'll probably do artists and, you know, we'll do something like adding a filter for the item count being greater than, yeah, I think 10 sounds about right. And then I think Let's add a sort in here and we will add, sort this by, let's do top rated artists. So let's see what we got there. Let's edit that metadata real quick actually to add a rating. And we can do that through here. Rating average of all their songs. And there you can see some of my top rated artists that I've got. You could limit that down if you wanted to. You could sort it by least recently listened to. Let's just take a look at what that looks like here. So let's do last played recent. So this would be like I haven't listened to a song in the longest time, any songs. And you can see kind of how that shape. A lot of these are definitely from some of my my older days right there, but um, definitely, you know, you can set up multiple artist sections. You can set up multiple song sections. 
And then the, the best part is I can just take this, the entire section settings, and I can go into here and I can just paste it in. And now everything is all set up exactly the same. So I will still have to do this for, I don't know, 10, or maybe I'll just do it for my the ones that I use the most. But this way I can easily make changes to how I want these genres represented and not have to go into each rule section and then smart rules and then change what the backbone playlist is. So if you've got a number of different playlists that are really large and contain a lot of songs, artists, and albums, this is a great way to set up a little bit of a, a home within a home that will make it easy for you to find exactly what you want in that genre. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope this was helpful for you. Feel free to leave me any comments with any questions you've got in the bottom. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week.